Hey everyone, it's Alfred. I'm Alfred. How y'all doing? Um, I've just awoken from a fitful night's rest. It's six... Yeah, it's 6.07. <laughs> um, and here we are on the second to last episode in the first season of five... 300 second crap, I mean. Um, I, of course, don't know if I intend to produce a second season i feel like the first one even these few episodes have done an excellent job of just exercising the demon that is life hacks from my life um but i am going to jump in this is uh this awful channel's other other channel because they make like 50 channels they got recipes they got family. They got girl. This one is play, presumably for younger children and for toy content, I presume. Um, at any rate, let's dive in. This video is a little shorter, so I might even just watch a second one if this episode turns out too short. Presumably, they presume that kids have a shorter attention span. I noticed that it is 10 minutes and 51 seconds, which means that with the ads... Sorry, with the intro, that means that it is just long enough to get over 10 minutes. All right. This intro is even worse somehow. And they still have this crappy, like, Monty Python hand. All right. White cement. Gotta be white. It's the only way you can fool your children into thinking it's flour. And then you mix in water. Clear water, I assume. And then you dip a cauliflower into it. What the hell? And then you cut the stem out. And then you peel the cauliflower chunks out, destroying it. And then you spray paint it gold. And then you have an ugly pockmarked interior that is a crappy bowl of jerley. Okay, the next hack is someone putting a pencil into clay. Or no, they've just cut the video. The next one is actually mushing white and pink clay together and then cutting clay with a... Oh, it's easy polymer clay ideas. That was the sizzle. All right. Someone rolled out a section of clay far too easily than it actually would be. And then they used the same rolling pin to press in a design and then they cut a little sine wave into the side. And they peel the excess away, leaving a ton behind. Then they pick up that, and then they put it in a bowl. Bake it for 15 minutes. That's not how long you bake all clay. It has to do with the type. And then they put some... Those appear to be sex beads. My shows aren't necessarily... I'm going to skip it back just to look again. My show isn't necessarily, like, child-friendly. <laughs> um, I try to not swear, just in case my family does watch. I have slipped up a few times, usually when I'm very emphatic about Jeremy Soule or someone else. Um, those do appear to be sex beads. I suppose they could be jurly, but I don't know why. It's such a large bead. Uh, and then there's... Because there's jurly in the other ones, in the other bowls. So I don't know what the deal is this is 18 clay and concrete hacks by the way all right some more pink clay they stick a pencil into it and then another pencil you wouldn't believe it a third pencil and then they take a bunch of pencils out they put in way more than they actually showed and then with an exacto knife they cut off the sides bake it for 15 minutes and they put the pencils back in except it's a pen now one of them pencils is a pen. And then I guess it's a crappy pen holder. All right, they've got four flavors of clay. They're rolling out until they roll them all out into long strands and then they twist them together. And then they spiral that together. And then they mush it up so it has a marbling design. You know, I noticed that I keep saying flavors when I mean colors whatever 
They used a bowl as a guide to cut it into a perfect circle. The geometric shape, not the tool album. Um, and then they push it into the bottom of a bowl, and now it is a crappy soap dish or a dish for your Q-tips. The box that Q-tips comes in is an okay thing to put Q-tips in, guys. They didn't explain how they put the gold leaf on the side either. Someone's mashing together white and pink clay. They use a heart cookie cutter to cookie cut a heart out. They did that ten times, I guess. Baked it for five minutes. They made it into a crappy piece of garbage earring and a ugly pin that you put on your chest. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Someone's mixing together concrete and water, I suppose. Oh, wait. What is that? It's pink. Or it's uh, more of a purple, I suppose. Hydro gum, five. Two packs. One and a half liters of water. Excuse me, I'm a stupid American. I don't know what a liter is. Mix it quickly. And then they bring a child to dip into it. Or no, they all hold hands and they put it in the middle. And then they slowly take it out. They pour in gypsum. And they wait an hour. Five minute crafts, huh? I mean, 300 seconds. They cut the hydro gum off the side. Now they have a crappy gypsum hand mold. <laughs> and they spray painted it in ugly silver. Or an ugly gold. I've got an ad for manscaping. Excuse me. All right, skip that. All right. Pour two cups of flour into a bowl. Have a cup of starch. A cup of salt. A cup of water. Where are they going with this? Stir up with a whisk. You guys know that flour costs less per pound than concrete? Wild, right? You can just buy concrete. You don't even need like a... You don't need anything for it. All right. Someone made a little ball of dough. And they put their ugly child's palm onto it. Okay. And then they put it up on the wall next to their Christmas pictures. And also the child's foot. They mix cornstarch, baking soda, and water. Stir it together with a rubber scraper. Not a spatula. A rubber scraper. Put it into a saucepan. <laughs> okay. They batted it with a rubber scraper some more. And they just kind of mush it into the corner and then pick it up with their bare hands. Not like it's hot or anything. They rolled out with a rolling pin. They use another bowl to cut into a circle shape. And then they tamp down the edges. And then they hover their baby over it and push the baby's foot into the mush. You might be able to hear my cat going absolutely bananas in the corner. But that's okay. We still love him, even though he's stupid. Anyway, they hang it on the wall. All right. Four cool cement ideas. Cement. Water. Okay, so they dump a towel into cement. <laughs> and then they put it over a McDonald's brand McDonald's soda cup. Let it dry for 24 hours. Five minute crafts, huh? They crush the McDonald's cup. And pull it out of the middle. And now you can put your goddamned plants in it. Yippee skippy. Oh no. Someone's stretching a glove over a cup. And they pour in concrete. And they mush it out to make sure. And then they put it in a bowl. And then they put another cement hand. And they put a bowl in the middle. They let it dry for 24 hours. And then they take everything out and they peel the rubber off. And then I guess it's meant to be a bowl made of hands. Yep. And you put a friggin' plant in there. Ugh. Okay. They've got a silicone ice cube tray. It appears to be roses, I think. 
they pour a bunch of concrete in there and then they put eggs in there. Let it dry for 24 hours. Is that? Why the egg? Okay, they pull the egg out and now it's got a little divot in the middle, I guess. They sand a tiny amount off. Oh, and then they put a tea light candle in there. Of fucking course they do. Uh, what is it? What is these people's deal with tea light candles? They swab a 2018 um, Sorry, I'm just looking at this and I'm feeling myself getting stupider. Um, they swabbed a cookie cutter with Vaseline, a plastic cookie cutter, and then they poured concrete in there. Uh, it's eight cookie cutter, nope, four cookie cutters of the letters two, zero, one, and eight for 2018. They glued it together, and then uh, thanks to the little wire they put in there, you can use it to hold your ugly pictures of your family. Someone's got like 50 dang potted plants at their desk. All right, five parts concrete. They do a big show of them putting gloves on. One part water. And then stir it, I guess. Like, there's so much padding in this video. Like, right now they're showing him cut a bottle in excruciating detail. And, like, considering that this video is just over 10 minutes, I feel like it's very intentional. All right, then he puts a cup in there. And he pours water into the cup, I guess. Let it dry for 24 plus hours. He pulls the cup out. He cuts the bottle off the side. And then he's got another thing to put a goddamn plant in. See, that's one reason that I've, uh, I'm, you know, not really going to go too much further with the show unless I make a second season. Because I feel like I'm, I'm saying a lot of the same things. Like, when you're watching it, it's very funny to be like, oh, he puts a cactus in there. That's nice. I like cacti. They're my favorite plant. They're my uh, bloodline technique to raise cacti. I own two, I think. The ones uh, at my old house. Oh, is that a pillow? And is that a concrete pillow? There's the same shot of them of him putting gloves on. And what appears to be the same video of him pouring concrete. Yeah, because it's five parts concrete and one part water. Yeah, this appears to be the exact same video. Like they just reused the clip. Probably because they didn't use all the concrete. But they didn't have to show him remaking it then, if it was the same wad of concrete. Ugh. Such a lazy way to make videos. Not to mention amoral. Oh, disgusting. They put a tea light candle into it. Sorry, I haven't actually explained what they're doing. They uh, squished a bunch of concrete into a Ziploc bag. Um, presumably actual Ziploc brand bag and they squished a tea light in the middle of it and now it looks like an ugly pillow see I assumed that they had just oh and then they got out the glue gun and they put four little dabs of glue on the back you let it dry and now it won't ding your desk I suppose and they put it on a glass desk what is that a table Ugh, it's so unwieldy and obnoxious it's gigantic you know, this is only a 13-minute video. I'm going to watch another one. This is 23 Crazy Fun Hacks and Crafts. Disgusting. Aw, that's nice. I'm getting an ad for a Roomba. I I love Roombas, guys. My biological mother's coolest ex-boyfriend had, like, three. They're so radical. I love Roombas. I'm glad I got an ad for Roomba. They reminded me that Roombas exist. I'm going to make sure that I buy a Roomba. I uh, I hate vacuuming. And I love robots. It's ugly Monty Python hand doing a little painting. But crafts for kids. Okay, there's a woman. Oh, what the hell am I looking at? Okay. There's a woman in surgical gear with an X-Acto knife. Before her is a banana. She looks at the camera and nods. She has a hair dyeing hairnet on with the exacto knife. She cuts along the dotted line on this banana. Inside is a smaller banana with a face. 
And then she closes the banana back up and puts a Band-Aid on it and puts a blanket over both of them. Is that a hack, really? This is just sad. <laughs> this is really sad. Okay, this one's really sad. There's a woman watching TV with her friends. She's FaceTiming her friends on two separate iPhones. The iPhones are affixed to the top of the couch somehow. But below them is a sweater, jeans, and two pairs of shoes as though she's sitting next to actual people. Like, she's wearing her shoes in her house, first of all. These people have... These these iPhones are sitting in the neck of sweaters. The sweaters are tucked into jeans, and the jeans are tucked into shoes as though she's sitting next to human people while watching crap on TV. That's just sad. <laughs> all right, someone's... Uh, Stuffing wire through a button. They're bending it into a goofy position. And now they put a second button on there. They're twisting it further. Oh, it looks like a bicycle, I guess. That's... Whatever. And then they put it on their backpack because it's a keychain, I suppose. Even though it's just wire and you could unbend it with your hands. Right, now they got bronze wire. They're spiraling it up. This is supposed to be fun hacks and crafts. I'm not really feeling the hack part of it. Life hack. Here's how to pretend you're not alone. Like, oh, Lord. They've twisted it into a swan. Yeah, they've just twisted this into a swan. They twisted brass wire into a swan. Oh, and then you can use it as a... As a bookmark. Okay. They're twisting it again. I suppose that's inoffensive. All right, more brass wire. They've got a little hook on the end. They've bent it into a heart at the top. And then they spiraled the excess wire down the, down the middle. And then they kept going. Oh, and the hook connects to the heart at the top. And it's a crappy bracelet you put on your wrist. That is where bracelets go, of course. Okay, they've got a roll of duct tape. They're twisting wire around it. They cut off the excess, and now they've got a hoop of wire. They put what appears to be pantyhose. Do people wear pantyhose anymore? Okay, they tie a little, little yarn around it. Like, pantyhose seems to be mostly used as just crafts, you know? And then they put a flower in there, and then they... Put more string around it, and then they affix four more of them. Oh, they made a crappy craft flower. Oh, how awful. All right. They've got a pence... They've got a marker... Yeah, paint marker. Twist some wire around it. And they twist a circle into it. And now it's a crappy looking ring. Ugh. I guess it looks okay, but there's still exposed wire in it. You're going to poke yourself on it. More wire. This is a lot of wire hacks, fellas. Are you guys sure you wanted this many wire hacks, or is this like a, is this an oversight? Did they write fun when they meant to write just a shitload of wire? Just a shitload of wire hacks and crafts? You know, I'm not also seeing a crazy. They, they said that it was crazy in the title. Anyway, the last hack was to make a shitty looking earring. This one, they just made a bunch of loops of wire and they bend them all out. And they dip it in some fluid, some pink fluid, have to bismol, maybe nail polish. Let dry, not let it dry, let dry. They cut off the back, and now it's a crappy looking flower. They fix it to a headband with a bunch of others, a bunch of other crappy looking flowers, and then they have a crappy looking headband. All right, they've got a push pin by the looks of it. They put two small sewing needles on, and then they wrap it in yarn. They hot glue the yarn down, and now it's a small, garbage, little earring. 
Okay, so they cut the they cut ninety percent of the spoon off the spoon, so it's just the bowl of the spoon. And then they bend it down. Oh my god. They poured it a bunch of epoxy resin with sparkles in it. And then you wear it as a necklace. Dude, it looks like trash. It is literally made of trash. It's made of an old spoon. Having a spoon is a much better reward. Okay, so they drew a bunch of designs on a popsicle stick. Then they bent it, somehow without breaking it. And they put it in a glass. Hold on, did they do something to it? Why did it just... Why did it do that? Okay, here's the spoon hack. A wet popsicle stick. Okay, I suppose it has to be soaked then. I was still bitching about the spoon. They draw a fake travel tattoo design on it. They put it in a glass to stabilize it. And then when it's dry, you can put it on your wrist as an ugly bracelet. Life hack, I guess. Okay, they got a cork out of a wine bottle. They saw a little roll out of it. They color it red. They cut out a second one. They color it orange. Then they cut it in half. And then they put a nail through it. And then they did it again on the other side. And it's a crappy pair of earrings. These look like shit. What is it with people making bad looking earrings in these craft videos? Anyway, they mixed alum and water and dye. And then they put a gold ring in there. And then it makes a gigantic fake crystal. Growing crystals is cool. I'll say that. Okay, they got two halves of a clam by the looks of it. They pour in some epoxy resin. And they put artificial pearls in there. If these are earrings, they're not going to look good. They are earrings and they don't look good. I was right. I'm not happy I'm right, of course, but I am. All right, they've got a, uh, they've got a key, rather. They put some charms on there. And then they pin it to someone's lapel as though it's jewelry and not trash. Okay, someone's cutting a leaf pattern by the looks of it into leather. Yeah. Crappy leather jewelry. It's another earring. All right, they got a zipper. Hot glue down one side. Uh, and then they put a chain. That looks okay, actually. I, I will be the first to admit that that one looks all right. It's a... It's a dope-ass little punk uh, bracelet. Oh, shit. Michael's offers online pickup. You know, this is probably targeted advertising, considering I'm watching craft videos. And they're like, hey, you want to buy thousands of types of yarn? Michael's craft store. Is Michael's okay? I don't remember. I know that Hobby Lobby is owned by racists who are anti-abortion. Um, and I believe also stole a bunch of uh, artifacts from like Afghanistan or something. Or maybe it was Iran. Something like that. Okay, they cut a straw into a bunch of little pieces. They loop a shoelace through all the pieces. Yep, they sure are doing it in excruciating detail. And now it's an ugly looking choker. Dude, you're wearing a shoelace and a bunch of pieces of plastic straw. Ugh. Do people actually wear this? They've broken the tab off a soda can. They put a rhinestone on there. You can, ugh. Then they put a little chain through it and wear it like it's a necklace. You can so obviously tell it's plastic and a soda tab. It's not good looking, dude. It looks like shit. It looks like crap. They glued a bunch of Crayola brand crayons. They have to be Crayola brand, I guess, to a to a canvas. And then they started uh, blow drying it with a hair dryer. So it um the crayons all melt down the side of the board. Then they glued some fake flowers to it, like it's growing, I guess. And then they just set it on a table. They don't hang it or anything. That's That's dumb. Why would you hang a picture? Although, if they're making the case that it isn't art, I'm down for that. All right. 
They're blowtorching a uh, another Crayola brand wax crayon. And they're just kind of sticking it to a shirt and then pulling it away. And they've made a heart design. I don't think that's going to last too, too long. All right. So they've crushed a... Oh, dear. They've crushed a bunch of crayons into a crushed coffee cup. One of the reusable ones, by the way. Or uh, uh, disposable coffee cups. They crushed a coffee cup, just one of the little styrofoam ones. Put a bunch of crayons in there. Stuck a wick in there, I think? Oh, yes, they did. Microwaved all, microwaved the mashed pile of Crayola crayons, and now it's an ugly-looking geometric candle. Right. Bringing up crayons in little pieces. Does it matter if they're broken up if you're going to melt them anyway? Okay, so wait, what the hell? Okay, so they start stirring it with a little wooden stirrer. Yeah, a little popsicle stick. And then it's liquid suddenly. Okay, then they pour in clear coat, like clear nail polish coat. And then you put it on your hand. And now it's crappy, cheap nail polish that you made with actual fucking crayons. Okay, I showed my wife this one. I have seen a few of these in the past, mostly because these assholes just kind of recycle their videos to milk the most cash out of them that they can. Um, I showed my wife this one. She was like, well, maybe it's so kids can use it, but they use clear coat in it. So she was like, well, then I don't know why. It's just making bad nail polish out of clear nail polish and trash. Like, I don't see the actual point of it. Because if it was just the crayons and you painted that on your nails, that might be something. But it's not. It's garbage. Okay, they got a bunch more crayons. They melt them with a lighter. And by that, I mean they kind of just pour... They, they hold the lighter above the crayons for a second, and then they move to the next one. And then they dump it into a glue stick. Let dry. Not let it dry again. Yeah, they've got an empty glue stick full of crayon wax. And now it's a gigantic, chunky crayon that barely colors. You'd be much better with just a regular crayon, dude. Okay. You got a metal tray. Oh, I guess it's a hot metal tray, considering. They put paper on the back, and then they started coloring it with Crayola brand crayons. Yeah, considering how they're melting, I'm fairly certain that the tray is hot. And they've made a crappy version of Van Gogh's Starry Night. Starry Night was Van Gogh, right? I don't want to make an ass of myself. I'm going to pause the video and Google Starry Night. You know, when I type in star, when I type in star, I still get Star Wars Wiki breast, Star Wars Wiki jizz in my autocomplete. Yeah, it's Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. In case you were confusing him with Jack Van Gogh. All right, now they've got an ugly Starry Night on their wall. All right, they got a T-shirt. They have a stencil that says "Wow." Okay, then they wrap a clothing iron in foil and they rub some crayons on it and then they press it into the shirt. And then when they take it off, they have a shirt that says wow. Sure, I guess. It's still made with crayons. I don't know how well it's going to last. Oh, that's toxic. Okay, so they put a Crayola brand crayon in a glue gun. <laughs> That's, that might fuck up your glue gun. That might really, really mess with the inside of your glue gun. But I guess if you got 50 glue guns, it doesn't matter. Anyway, they just poured it on the outside of a coffee cup. And then they painted it over with what appears to be another clear coat nail polish. And that's the last one. What a wet fart to end it on. Um... Let's take a look at the comments, I guess. I feel like most of these are just screaming, hack so you don't die in quarantine. Well, considering that this was made yesterday, yeah, it might be. I am literally watching this while laying in bed, crying laughing emoji. Who else watches this in 2x speed? 
Me only? Hello? Okay. Whatever. I laughed so hard when she took the baby banana out of the big one. Well, you're everything wrong. That's wrong with this country. I'm just kidding. Uh, racism and sexism is pretty bad. Also, capitalism is really kicking our ass. Healthcare is not great either. <laughs> Sailor Furuba one day ago says, Last time I was this early, the Star Wars fandom wasn't at war. What the hell are you talking about? The Star Wars fandom has been at war since before you were born. Star Wars fans have been bitching about Star Wars since Star Wars Episode 4. Yeah, everyone has two phones. Uh. Allegedly, Mr. Beast commented here, although he doesn't appear to have any subscribers. He joined uh, three days ago, and he doesn't have any videos. So I guess it is, it's really Mr. Beast, guys. There he is. Do they know what happens when they put a shirt with hot glue or crayons on it in the dryer? Yeah, like, I'm fairly certain that, by the way, the rest of the comment just says that it melts. Um, yeah, I'm fairly certain that it just would melt if you dry it. And granted, yes. I guess there are clothes that you just aren't supposed to put in the dryer. I hate those. I go out of my way to not buy clothes that don't allow me to use modern technology on them. Because it's 2020. I'm not going to go beat my rugs with a stick like a caveman. I'm going to put it in the fucking dryer. Because we live in the future. That's 300 second crap, everyone. Thanks for coming by. Next episode is the last one of the season. Possibly forever. Um, yeah. Have a nice day. Remember to take your medicine, actually. Um, I keep forgetting to say remember to whatever uh, at the end of my videos. Um, remember to take your medicine. Because I've been forgetting. Uh... I am remembering now, but I had like two days a little bit ago where I just completely blew through it and forgot to take it. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Take your medicine. It's good for you. Unless it isn't, but talk to a doctor before you change anything. Naturally. Uh, during the second crap, baby. Have a nice day. Thank you.